I like to play. He's only hit six fairways today, so just get it in the play. You take it down the left, there's a huge camber down from that fairway, and he's certainly low enough to have a mid-iron in for a second. Beautiful tee shot from our leader. 17 under, playing the 12th. Again, the day two back, got off to a great start, four under through four holes. To a back left hole location, threw it all the way back there. He would go on to make that putt. Six under on the day and tied for... Boy, he plays quick. What a beautiful stroke right in the back of the hole. One shot lead is intact. Good speed. Really good speed. Anything more than that, I think. 63 on Sunday. You know, when you begin the day, three out of the lead. Excellent. That is just an incredible round of golf. So composed. He looked like he was in complete control. And downhill, downwind. Got to land it just on the green. I tell you what, that's not a bad shot. It's going to go past, but that's below the hole, uphill into the brim. Fourth shot from Max Homa. Yeah, from an uphill lie, you can be aggressive. Start of the day, seven back. Easiest win, left to right, with the water right. Oh, and that's crunched. That's right down the middle. Very confident swing indeed. Perfectly played. Yards left for Max, perfect angle. No left to right wind, trying to drift an eight iron in there. Oh, this is a beautiful looking shot. This could be really good. Oh, magnificent. What a shot. And that to get him to 14 under. He needs to do this. He needs to go in left to right up the hill. Oh, oh that was a good roll. I would have thought it would have snapped too. And a heck of a round of golf for Max Homa. Well, he began the day seven shots back. Post 67. Max Homa is a winner for the second time on the web.com tour. He comes from seven shots back. It's the biggest comeback in two years. But he understands that the pros are now playing literally for the money. Well, they were literally playing for the money the first three days. So whoever's made this cut has already in sync the amateur to what they need to do. I uh, need to be careful and that's all settled by now. So that's not a big change for the pros or the amateurs. Home a moment ago, his second from 141. A little softer conditions this uh, way this softer conditions and you know, it puts many of the tee shots kind of all in the same vicinity and then you do that. Some great score. This is Max Homa with his third shot. He's laid up. Just a short wedge, trying to get to this back hole location. Judges the bounce, the spin, really nicely. Look still to be done to five. Homa off the tee. About 305 to the left bunker, but this is right down the middle. Pretty solid throughout the day. It's on a good line right now. It's a solid shot. Wow, you're kidding me. Great line. What a shot. He had no way. Well, he had a, he had a yard to work with <laughs> and used it all. Just good enough reason He's for me. He's got a good sense of humor, this guy. Yeah. Keep, nice to keep it light. Ah, you deserve better after that mm. shot. Would have been nice to you to remember that one a lot longer. Figures. Thanks. Homa on the tee and the ninth, sharing the lead. Bingo, baby. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, this is on a really good line just inside the left side of the fairway. Trust that little hold off fade perfectly. Max Homa at nine under his 18th hole of the day. He, oh, it had to, right? Would have been too cruel. 28 year old from California went to Cal and got it to double fit. But he's come back, went back through the web.com tour, got his status returned, lived by the mantra and the set. One more time. Yes, indeed. How fantastic.
Two buddies. Since they were kids. Well, Max Homer's made over 200 foot of putts already this week. This from just inside 15 feet. Go, go, Bank another one. He said the driver is the key for him if he's driving it well. Max Homer playing his third to the fifth. That was from 185 yards. And pretty nicely done because that was an awkward lie. Homer to get it to 13 under. Off to a good start. Couple under through the first four. Whoa. That <laughs> flew in the back of Where the hole. Where would that have been? Wow. The hole not been <laughs> Max Homa, he's feeling it all of a sudden. And to the third, Max Homa. Long hitter. Pitching wedge for him. 165 downwind. And it was the right club. Wow. He's a really talented player. Well, Homa going with three wood. That was a good golf swing right there. Well, he only carried that three wood 287, so that's going to be just fine. Yeah, probably got a little bit of a read on the speed from Rory's putt moments ago. Bang. Homa to 10 under. Watch out, Max Homa. Man, that was beautiful. Twos are always good. Never been a bad two. Back to 15. Only trying to work the cut. There you go, it's a ground cut. He's been working on his driver, trying to get a little more spin and launch, and this one is perfect. Just off that right bunker. Up to 13. All right, Max Homa getting set here. 13, the par 3, 186. And we get our top tracer technology presented by Optum. A scary 186 yards. There's some guys teeing off later today. A three-way tie at the top. Justin Thomas, after opening with five straight birdie, just bogeyed the sixth. And route to his victory at the Wells Fargo at Quail Hollow, he made some sensational up and downs over the final round. That one was pretty close. That was pretty good. You want me to tell you if it goes in? Oh, what a fall. He was in jail off the tee. Looking for a second win. We're going to go out to Max Homa. Play with Joel Damon today. Flag go. on the left. This looks like a go. pretty good line from Max Homer yelling for it to go. Shot here. Beautiful shot. Very difficult to judge the distance here at the fourth. Third at the par five. Uh oh. Almost rattled it home for an eagle. Started the day at four under. Great shot there, Max. Has a chance to get it to six. He's actually going to go with six, though. Pretty good line. And that is a really good shot. Getting better, Billy. Beautiful finishing swing. Well, two good ones. Good drive, good second. For birdie. Well, just a tough day for him, Brian. Homer's next. Adjusted for that and played it a little bit further to the left. Go! Come on now, let him in. As we go to seven and Max Homa, third year on the PGA Tour. First time, however, he's keeping his card. Lost it after 15, lost it after 17, but look at that eagle putt at seven. That's the third eagle of the day here at the par five seventh, and Max Homa, the winner in Charlotte earlier this season.
made his par. This is Max Homa for birdie. Now coming down the hill, should be breaking pretty good to his left. Oh, yeah. And that is perfect. What a great read, great speed. Just kind of waiting to pop. Now this sixth hole playing difficult today because of this hole location. Whoa. I don't know why though, because everybody seems to be hitting it close. Birdie putt. Okay, Max Homa, one under. This on a better line, looks like. Just left of the flag. Okay. Now this could be really Stay interesting. Stay tuned because here it comes. Back down the hill, Max Homa. Here's Max Homa with the best shot of the day at the sixth. Tap in from inches. Now. They have a hard time keeping it on the putting surface. As we look at Homa, 20 feet up the hill for a par. Oh, great save. That'll help his sand save statistics. Oh, Berkeley guy, Cal Berkeley guy. Bright. He doesn't act like a Cal Berkeley guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ever been there? <laughs> it's a, uh, <laughs> it's a different place. It's a beautiful place. Oh, it sure is, that's You're for sure. Through there. Hard work in three to avoid a second straight drop shot. And Max Homa manages to keep it at minus one. Teen under. This is second at the par four. Yeah, trying to get at this left hand hole location. Bunker short. And you do it by doing just that. Flies all the way to the hole. Nice high ball flight. 16. Tee shot of Max Homa. Clean round going today for Max. The three birdies. Thanks. Two on the front, one on the back. Nice shot in there. You know these guys have a little little thing going on with, with 16 next week at the waste management. Oh yeah. The Kobe jerseys worn it pretty much every day. Oh yeah, they're just peppering this flag today. Another good one. Coming off a, a really good par in the last hole. He hit it in the water on his second shot. Dropped and got up and down. That's it. Great golf shot there, Max. It, it's got to be a subtle draw. The wide draw gets carrying on the wind too much. Goes too far. You say hard to do here at the 16th. Excellent shot. The reachable par four, Max Homa on the tee. Uh, it's quite reachable. You want me to tell you if it goes in? Oh, what a four. He was in. He's been working on his driver, trying to get a little more spin and launch. And this one is perfect, just off that right bunker. Yeah, great insight in here. He's got 148 yards to the hole, but he wants to hit a 145 yard shot. The wind is slightly off the right. Oh, that's exactly where he would have been looking. Uh, Ricky 
is a Cobra guy and has carried, has had Joe carrying the, the carry bag rather than the staff bag. Yeah, I know a lot of times, Rick, in Ricky's case, as we see Homa with a good shot there, those bags get off, auctioned off after a particular. And that three under mark is where that cut has been hovering and will continue to hover for the rest of the day. Oh, one of the best of the ninth. Max looks to improve that number then. Pretty comfortable with everything. At the ninth. Max Homa. Really grinded out a nice round of even par in the windy conditions yesterday. Two birdies, two bogeys. Well, they predicted yesterday that we would. Next off this afternoon, please welcome Ricky Fowler from Marietta. Anthony Joshua, no longer the heavyweight champion of the world. Max Homa on the tee at one. I got feels like the heavyweight champion of the world after that win at the Wells Fargo Championship. Incredible shape he's in now. Max Homa, his second shot. And two really good guys here as well. Max Homa, a lot has been made of his recent victory, but more than anything, the confidence that's given him having that job security going forward the next couple of years. Great shot there at one. Oh, oh, lie in the grass where you can't get the club on it. It's pretty straightforward right here. And you mentioned him birdieing what, the last four holes to four get into the... Uh, Corn Ferry Finals last year, and he tweeted. That four birdies and four bogeys here at eight today. What a great ball flight and a great result on a dime. So Homa, a chance for back-to-back -back birdies here on the front nine. The previous green breaking from his left to right, a couple of inches outside the hole. Oh, boy, that just snapped quick. So Max unable to convert. So he remains at three under par. Check out hey, Top Tracer te Technology hey, right. presented by Top Golf. And that was really good. Right at the flag stick on the lower level. Excellent shot. Not much break at all. Just knock it right in the middle of the cup. All pars, birdie two. Max Holma. The eighth for birdie up the hill. Played collegiate golf a couple hours north of here in Berkeley. Three birdies through his first eight holes. Nice Sunday move for Max Homa. So the players are just looking at about 270 yards. If they can keep it between that and 300, that's the perfect slot to be in. This is a great shot down the left-hand side. Should be perfect. Yep, nice drive. Both Garcia and Fowler made their pars back at four. Be so careful here. If he doesn't hit this hard enough, this ball will end back up at his feet. That's a wonderful job. He actually got a chipping lesson from right there. Josh Gregory, Trevor. Uh, it's Pat Reed's guy, so that was on Monday this week, and it's already paying off there. That is a huge chip. This will be Homer. Looking a little bit to the right. Oh, that's a nice, nice tee shot there. That's right down the middle of the fairway. You know, middle of the fairway, and you would expect this one to be fairly close. Certainly as a player, you feel, you feel like you've got to get this inside 10 feet. Closer. And then Max Homa would make fun of him for it. There's another one. As that great collection of shots yields a couple of birdies for this group at number two. More yards up the hill. I call it 168. I'm trying to fly only around what feels like 160. Hoping for that one bounce. Kind of like that. Max Homa delivering here at the second. Chance to get a little clear here with this for birdie at two. Yeah, there you go. Confident stroke there right in the middle. Give him a little cushion, trying to get a little closer to the leaders. He's played with a lot of players who've had success out here 
at younger ages. And is it enough? Oh boy, how good is that? His how ability to get that? it up and down this afternoon has been remarkable. First golf memory was watching Tiger Woods win the 1997 Masters. Lots of good, young, talented players. We see every year a new group of them. And Max Homa's one of the guys. Long par five. 618 yards. It's fairway bunkers on the left hand side certainly come into play, but not with a drive like that. This putt on a very similar line to DeChambeau's. It's going to be just outside the hole to the left, moving right. Oh, and that is two sensational putts to begin his round for Max Homer. One under par through two holes. Max Homer. 238 yards to this back left hole location. Well, that's a really good tee shot there. This has been the hardest hole in the golf course for the week. Max Homer's birdie putt up the hill at 15. It's going to break quite a bit to his left at the end as it comes up the hill. Look at this, tracking Max Homer. Max Homer, your champion <laughs> at Quail Hollow a few weeks ago. Almost looking embarrassed. This one looks like it should be perfect here, Brian. 17th on tour in driving distance. Go. 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 They may have some fun with that swing a little later on, and the result, their, their bunker does extend over there. It might not be in the water. With everything? At the ninth. Max Homa. Only round under par. Fourth shot, watch where the ball goes. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> right at our camera position. And the adventures of Max Homa, social media star, continue. Fifth shot. Oh. Well, at least he'll have something to tweet about. 